Welcome back to the channel eMobilist. I'm a German engineer and I live in California now and I can tell you a lot about e-bikes and e-scooters and for this you always need to be protected and therefore Lumos actually sent me some helmets and these helmets are very interesting because these are smart helmets and they are very, very protective, which is the most important thing about a helmet. So they have MIPS and they are smart. But what does it mean to be smart? And how is this actually going to protect you even more? That's what we're gonna find out in this video. Have fun. Yeah, let's have a look at the Lumos helmets. These are e-bike certified. And when you ride an e-bike, you know that you're riding a little bit faster. So therefore it's very important to have a good helmet. And why is this helmet protecting you even more than a normal helmet? I have lots of different helmets here and I never really needed my helmet, but if I need one, I want to have the best possible helmet to protect everything which is inside my head here. And therefore I love the Lumos helmets because they have the MIPS standard. MIPS is from a Swedish doctor. He kind of found out that for a lot of people who've fallen from their bikes, um, that there was some kind of a rotation within the fall, which kind of didn't work out so good with a normal helmet. That's why these MIPS helmet are on a higher protection level than the normal helmet. So if you wanna have the highest protection level of a helmet, always look for the MIPS logo. Let's do some kind of an unboxing together with my son. It was just Christmas time, so we let him unbox all those different packages what I got from Lumos and let's have a look inside. So thank you very much to my son for the unboxing. Now we're gonna have a look inside the different boxes. You can see everywhere is the MIPS logo. And this is a very smart helmet. Well, the nice thing about it is that it got some kind of a protective visor here. So when you ride fast with your e-bike, you don't get any insects or anything into your eyes, which is very good. Additionally, um, it has all the different protection level standards which you need for riding your e-bike. So it's very, very rigid and therefore it should protect your head whenever you fall. But how to avoid that you fall and that you get like hit from a car or anything, which is probably the most important thing when you ride at night. And therefore these Lumo helmets, they got lots of different lights built into the helmet and additionally you have also turning lights which you can use via a remote control which you actually install on your bike so you can indicate a right turn left turn just with your helmet but plus to your helmet you also can mount lots of different lights also from lumos um, with lots of different mounting system also from lumos which you can put onto your saddle, wherever you want. So this is a big, big integrated system where everything fits together. So in the end you have your bike, you have lots of lights on it, turning lights, front light, back light. You have an automatic braking system, which actually makes your lights on the helmet turn red and show that you're braking. It makes all the different lights, which you buy in the Firefly mini set, they are also gonna show that you're braking and they are also capable to show like an indication for your turning signal, the blinker. And this is all smart. So you can actually customize it all in the app. So you can customize all the different lights what you got on the helmet, plus all the different lights what you can buy with a Firefly mini set, which you can mount on your bike with the different mounting styles here. For me, it's very important that I have a good light, that I'm very, very good visible, which is very, very good here. So when you have a look at our night drive, which we did around here, around Christmas time, um, you can see that it's very, very bright and everybody's seeing me very, very good. Well, there is something else you can get from Lumos, which you can use in the winter time. It's a winter liner. Um, and the winter liner, you can just put that under your helmet 
and it kind of helps you to stay warm under your helmet. There's another helmet. So this was the Ultra e-bike helmet, smart LED helmet with turn signals. Um, this is a little bit a cheaper version. Still, you got like all the protection levels, what you need, safety for your helmets with MIPS. Um, it's very, very lightweight. This is 280 grams. So this is like nothing, 280 grams. This one's a little bit heavier. It's 520 grams because you've got lots of different lights built in and the visor. So if you want to have the lightest version, it's gonna be the Ultra Fly Pro helmet from Lumos. If you want to have the smart version with the built-in lights and the visor, it's gonna be this one, which is the Ultra e-bike helmet both from Lumos, both look very, very nice, ultra light and ultra smart. I had some helmets which didn't really have the MIPS standard, which are good, but I want to have the highest protection level available on the market for my head. So that's why I want a helmet with a MIPS standard. Thank you very much to you guys for watching this video. Click the subscribe button that you don't miss any updates. In my channel, we talk a lot about e-bikes, e-scooters, skateboards, one wheels, cargo bikes, everything. Um, and I do this uh, since 2020. So for around four years, I've ridden over 120 e-bikes and maybe 50 different scooters. And I'm trying lots of different things. So I know what I'm talking about. I'm a German engineer, I'm from Munich, I work for BMW. I do testing of vehicles, but I also do testing of all this different equipment here. So thank you very much to you guys for watching this video. And thank you to Lumos for providing these helmets and all the different equipment. I'm gonna love it and I'm not sure on which bike I'm gonna mount it, but maybe I'm gonna mount it on the cargo bike of my wife to have my wife and my children very, very safe. So thank you guys. Have a good one. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.